All right, so what I wanna do is explore resource groups and also um, tagging. So what I want you to do is type in resource groups at the top here. And it used to be accessible, not sure where they put it, but it used to be accessible here at the top, but they might've moved it over to systems manager. So I'm gonna to go to SSM here. Not sure why I can't seem to find it today. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna look for resource groups. All right, so what I wanna do is take a look at resource groups and I'm really surprised because it used to be somewhere in the global now, but I think they might've changed it. Um, and what's also frustrating is if I go over to systems manager, it was over here as well. And so on the left-hand side, I'm looking for resource groups. It's not showing up. So I don't know, AWS, you keep moving things around on me and I'm, uh, I can only update things so quickly in my courses. But if you type in resource groups and tag editor, it's actually over here. Um, I guess it's its own standalone service now. Why they keep changing things, I don't know. But uh, the idea is we wanna create a resource group. So you can create unlimited single region groups in your Avis account, use the group to view uh, related insights, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a resource group. You can see it can be tag based or cloud formation based, but I don't have any tags. So I don't really have anything tagged. So what I'm gonna do Let's make my way over to S3. We're just gonna create some resources or a couple of resources here with some tags so that we can do some filtration. So I can go ahead and create a bucket. I'm gonna say my bucket, uh, this like that, whoops. And then down below, I'm gonna go down to tags and we're gonna say project and we're gonna say um, RG for resource group. Okay, and then I can go back over to here and then I'm gonna just say, I can say exactly what type I want. I'm gonna support all resource types. And I'm gonna say project RG, see how it auto completes. And we'll go down below, we'll just say uh, my RG, a test RG, we'll create that. And so now we have a resource group and we can see them all in one place. Uh, resource groups are probably useful for using in um, policies. So I can say, say like resource group IM policies. That's probably what they're used for. Okay, so before you use IM managed to access resource groups, you should understand IM features, things like that. And so administrators can use JSON policies to specify who has access to what. And so a policy action or resource group is used following the prefix resource groups. So my thought process there is that if you want to say, okay, you have access to a resource, you can just specify a resource group and it will include all the resources within there. And so that might be um, a better way to apply permissions at a per project basis. Um, and that could save you a lot of time writing out IM policies. So 
Uh, that's basically all there really is to it. Also, you kind of get a, an overview of, of the um, resources that are there. So that can be kind of useful as well. There's the tag editor here. I can't remember what you use this for. You can set up tag policies. Um, tag policies help you standardize tags on resource groups in your accounts. You use uh, to define tag policies in AWS org to attach them to the entire organization. Um, we're not in the org account, so I'm not going to show you this, and it's not that important. Um, but just understand that resource groups can be created, and they are used within IAM policies in order to um, uh, grant or deny access to stuff. You can go ahead and delete that resource group. And really, AWS, stop moving that on me. If you move it one more time, I'm just never going to talk about resource groups again, okay?